What's up guys? Welcome back to another video guys. Today is going to be a very simple video. This is for all you new beginners. I've been getting a lot of easy questions uh, for people that are brand new using the Cronus. So today I'm going to go back and just show you how to install it and set it up from the beginning, right? And I might give you a couple tips along the way. Uh, so first of all, what we got to do is search Zen Studio Setup or Cronus Setup, whatever you want to set up. And then you're going to find their uh, website through Collective Minds right here, guys. Now, first thing you have to do, you do have to update the firmware, guys. This is the most important part. If you don't do this first, it's not going to work, guys. So make sure you do this, and it tells you exactly how to do it as well. Uh, so the first thing we got to do is we got to download the C uh, CM Update tool. We've got to download that. Scroll down right here once you click the link, and then hit click here. Now, if you're on Windows 7, make sure you do the driver fix. That doesn't apply to me. I'm on Windows 10. So let's go ahead and download the update tool. And we're going to open it, guys. we got to open it, right? Now, before you plug your Cronus in or do anything like that, there's a blue button on the bottom. Make sure as you're holding it, you plug in the USB. All right, guys, so you've got that downloaded. But once you've got that downloaded, guys, hold that blue button on the back and then plug in the micro USB on the back of the uh, Zen. Now, as you hold it down, you can let go. As soon as you see it lights up, it'll have a blue LED. It'll say Zen Bootloader. And then it'll pop up right here. Guys, make sure you use the latest version available to update your firmware. So we'll go ahead and hit continue and then begin update. I think mine's already on the newest update. I've uninstalled everything just to kind of show you guys how to set all this up over again. Um, but like I said, I've, I've been getting a lot of people, you know, struggling that are just getting their Cronuses in. So I wanted to kind of throw a basic video out there. And then Sunday we'll, we'll put out some more uh, advanced videos. All right, guys. So this is done, right? So we'll go back. We'll close this out. Go back over to the setup. We've connected that. I've showed you about the Zen bootloader, all that good stuff. We've updated it. All right, so now you've got to set up Zen Studio, right? Pretty easy. Just a simple download. So first, what we'll do is we'll go in, we'll download Zen Studio, same from that website where you downloaded your CMD update tool. You're going to download Zen Studio. Don't use Cronus Pro unless you have a Cronus Max, guys. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll open this up. All right, so don't really pay a whole lot of attention to all this yet, guys. Just kind of leave this alone for now until you get your controller set up. If you install any of the Pro Packs or Game Packs before you set up your controller, you're going to have issues. Just kind of leave this alone for now. All right, so once we get that, we'll, you know, double check that it's connected, which mine is right here at the bottom. You can register if you want to. You don't have to. That's just, you know, something they want you to do, obviously. Uh, all right, so let's get into the controller setup. I'm using a PS4 controller on PC, so mine's going to be a little bit different. So if you're using an Xbox um, with an Xbox controller, make sure you go, you know, directly to wherever your uh, gaming system is right here and set it up that way. I can't show it for everyone, obviously, because I don't have an Xbox by me or a PS4 by me or PS5 by me or anything like that. So make sure, guys, when you get to the controller setup, before you do any of the game packs and pro packs, make sure you go back in and um, actually click on whatever system you're using. For me, it's PC. Now, for those with PC, obviously, all you have to do is plug your controller to the front of the uh, Cronus. And then also, guys, change this to PC Mobile. Now, sometimes it will say Xbox 360, which is not a big deal, guys. As it states right here, it can say Xbox 360 or PC Mobile, so don't freak out. The next thing you do is you go into your command prop on your computer. And this can work for everybody, you know, that's on PC, even if you're using it with Xbox. Type in joy.cpl, and that's going to tell you you know that your controller is hooked up all right guys so once you see that it'll say controller xbox 360 for windows guys you're pretty much good to go um go back into your zen studio now this is where it gets you know a little bit more complicated if you're wanting to add game packs i'm gonna show you how to do the call of duty pro pack which is the most you know popular one and then i'll show you how to install a script so let's go ahead and do the call of duty pro pack first all you have to do guys you get your library this is where your scripts are guys this is not your uh game pack so this is a little bit more complicated uh, so let's go ahead and do a script first. Let's do Taylor Drift. I'll just search it at the bottom. And a lot of times what you want to do, guys, is you want to go to the uh, version that's the latest version and go ahead and download that. All you have to do is hit save right here. 
Now, I will say this, guys, and a lot of people do not want to go through this, but I will say this, everybody. Make sure you kind of read how to navigate through this menu. It's impossible how to tell you all to do it on every different script and everything like that. So if you're wondering how to navigate through the menus, guys, everybody that downloads this, go ahead and read through the instructions here. Um, it's very, very simple um, to get into the menu in itself. You're just going to hold L2 and press options. Now for the game pack, it's going to be a little bit different. So you have adjust certain values, like say if you want to adjust the aim assist intensity or the uh, radius and things like that, which I've done previous videos on, you do have to hold the left trigger as you're selecting things on the D-pad to actually change some of the uh, other values. So you can't just you know, go up or down. You have to actually hold the L2 and D-pad whatever direction you want to adjust that value to actually get into it and change some of those settings. All right, so regardless of that, everybody, let's go ahead and hit save. Now, I usually right click here and save it as something else so you have it saved to your PC. We'll do like TD new, whatever. And then you'll see TD new right here. And then all you have to do is go over to your uh, programmer tab up here at the top find this little guy on the left this is where you save all your scripts okay so i have i saved two of them so that's why there's two here it doesn't matter which one you use if you've saved the extra copy it's not a big deal all you have to do then is click and drag to whatever slot you want boom right there and then normally we would just go ahead and hit play but i'm going to show you how to install a game pack as well the so same thing if you want to do a game pack guys all you have to do is go into your uh programmer now instead of being right here where your scripts are you're going to go up one to zen and these are all your different game packs for all your different games so this applies to all the games uh that you want to use it for not just call of duty or Warzone. um you know there's battlefield nba 2k fifa all that uh even fortnite so we're going to do the call of duty pro pack once we find the one we want we want to click and drag it to the whatever slot we want it in now this is very important right here. This I'll go ahead and go through real quick. Make sure you match all these to your in-game settings. So I play on 7-7 sensitivity, 0 0.06 dead zone, and the game is going to be 6 here, guys. Default layout and standard curve type. I do recommend if you play on linear dynamic, try it on standard first. Sometimes it even works better even though you're playing on linear to have it on standard. Global mods, I just did a video on that. Go check that out if you want. Scrolling on down, of course. Aim assist intensity. Now, this is where you get that snappy aim. Uh, I usually turn it down or turn it all the way off. Anywhere from 12 to 15 is what you want to start off with if you want to use it. Now, the higher you go, the more your screen will shake, so be aware of that. Um, so we're going to leave it at about a 12 or a 13 right now, just for the sake of this video. And then this is something that's very important. Make sure, guys, you switch to this profile switch mode. Everybody switch it to weapon swap, PS4, solid light bar. Or if it's on Xbox, it might be a little bit different. Um, but this allows you, when you change your weapons, uh, it'll have your green LED on on your controller for your primary, and red will light up for secondary. Uh, and this is where you set up your weapons, guys. So, like, I use a kilo, let's say. Usually about 104 to 108 is the right you know recoil value depending on what attachments you use you'll adjust this in the game and all you have to do to adjust it all you have to do to adjust it is hold down left trigger down on the d-pad and then adjust with rb1 and lb1 as you're holding down the d-pad and the ads trigger you can tap to go up and down with the uh, top bumpers on your controller and then adjust the recoil value or you can just go in here and adjust it sometimes i'll just go in here because it's a little bit easier now, we'll say, everybody, if you're having trouble, say your gun is still going up, that means you need to increase this anti-recoil value. If your gun is pulling down, then you need to decrease it, if that makes sense. Because what happens is with your normal anti-recoil patterns, it's going to go straight up and to the right a little bit. So when that happens, you need to increase it. Now, if you do increase it and then all of a sudden it starts pulling down, just go ahead and decrease it. And you can do that, like I said, just in the game itself on the quick edit. And that's why we have ADS quick edit on, which is this right here. So you can edit it in the game, make sure that is on. But I keep it on, you know, 104 is about that good value if you use the VLK scope. Now you'll notice some guns without scopes, you're going to actually go down below 100. 
with scopes, you're going to go up 100. So any variable, you know, scopes or anything like that, it's going to be 100 or above. Anything without a scope is going to be below 100. And then, of course, right here, you turn your aim assist mod on. Now, you can turn this, you know, if you want to do crouch aim or rapid crouch aim. I don't use any of those. Only one I would recommend as a secondary, though, would be like ping on fire, ADS ping on fire. But just be aware if you're playing like quads and you, you're tagging a lot of guys, it can be annoying for your teammates. And then the same thing kind of goes for your secondary. I'm going to use a MAC-10. And then, of course, we've done previous videos on this, so it's going to be around a 94, and that's because we don't have any type of scope on it, is the anti-recoil value. And then I'll use an aim assist mod. And I don't use the secondary. Like I said, same thing for the primary when you set it up up here. Now, only other really thing you have to do in the pro pack, guys, make sure you have this block in-game rumble, unless you want the vibrations on, because you do have to go in the game itself and enable the vibrations for this to work. So make sure you have block game rumble enabled. You do have to have auto tack sprint on for the slide cancel mod to work. So make sure you turn auto tack sprint on for this slide cancel mod to work. Now after you've done all that, everybody, all you have to do, my dudes go over here, hit play, and you are good to go, guys. All you have to do now is load up Warzone. Now you'll notice as this is saving, you'll have slot one for the script, slot two for the Zen or for the Pro Pack. And then to get, you know, navigate between those two, you have to hit the right button on the Zen. And then it'll tell you, you know, Cold War Pro Am 4.7.3 for the script. And then if you click it again over, that's where you get to your kilo, and it'll say uh your Call of Duty, you know, Warzone, Kilo 141, whatever gun is selected that you have out. That's pretty much it, guys, as far as setting this up. I have more in detail videos if you want to go from here. I just wanted to give you a, a good idea how to get this from the start. I wanted to redo it um, since my previous video might not have been as easy to follow. Hopefully, this is a little bit easier. And then this will kind of this will help you guys out. Now, if you, if you uh, enjoyed the video, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you hit that sub button. We are going to do more advanced videos as well, like this weekend. Those that have been using the Cronus for a while, but since there's a lot of beginners, I've been getting a lot of questions. I wanted to throw another basic video out there, uh, and I'll kind of give you a couple tips uh, while we're just kind of staring at this screen. Now, as far as paid scripts goes, guys, I wouldn't use them. I don't think they're really worth the money, to be honest, because a lot of those scripts are just knockoffs of the free scripts. So I wouldn't really pay for any scripts or anything like that. I have done a video on the Taylor Drift one um how to get into the options and navigate through the menu so go back and check that video out if you're wanting to know how to adjust all those settings but that pretty much does it for this video guys i appreciate you guys stopping by drop a like hit that subscribe button guys we have now hit over 650 subs uh we will be doing another giveaway at a thousand very soon guys so make sure you're subscribed so you have a chance at that giveaway i appreciate all the love and support you guys have a great day we'll see you in the next video peace